Thank you, Matt. We always appreciate your support. The next speaker is Pennsylvania Senator Arthur Haywood III from the 4th District. So thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for coming. And I also want to express my solidarity with what we're trying to achieve here. Now, I do want to say that a uh, billion dollars a month is quite a bit of money. And I really uh, don't criticize them for making a billion a, a month, or even two billion a month, if they can make it. At the same time, the big businesses and small businesses are also citizens. And part of being a citizen involves being a good neighbor, being fair. Now we've shared with you all a sheet called the Corporate Tax Dodgers. Does everyone have that or did they have it at one time? And what that share, what I wanted to share that with you is because uh, we did some research early this morning and we found out from 08 to 2012 that Verizon had paid no federal income taxes. Zero. That's not good citizenship. And in fact, they had gotten uh, about $500 million in tax credits while paying zero in federal income taxes. That's not good citizenship. And we also have heard about how they're trying to cut the benefits of retirees, so it makes it more difficult for them to retire in security, to retire with dignity. At a billion a month, that's not good citizenship. We've heard about how they're trying to outsource jobs, putting not only the workers out of work who are connected to the union, getting middle class wages, but also consumers. Because now the consumers are going to be faced with less skilled, more injury prone folks doing the work in their homes, on the streets. Not good citizenship. And so, I look at the question, what do we do with companies who fail the test of citizenship? Who fail the test because they're destroying the middle class? Who fail the test before, because they're trying to undermine retirement security? We've got to increase our support for the union movement. That's the only thing that's got to be done here. We've got to increase the support for those who are fighting so that these big businesses can be accountable and good citizens. Because if not, we won't have a middle class. If not, the communities that depend upon you spending your money for groceries, for automobiles, for whatever, if you don't have the money, it doesn't go into the economy. The businesses in our communities cannot sustain that. So I want you to know I'm fully in support. I am an ally. And let me just share why this is good for Verizon to enter into agreement with you. Verizon needs customers, not only workers. Now we know that the money's headed to the top. Money's been going to the top for the last 30 years. Every dollar that comes to us, it's got to be $500 going to the top. That's been going on for about the last 30 years. Now well, let me tell you something. If 150 people earn enough money to buy a car, isn't that better than one person earning so much that they can buy two Bentleys or two Rolls Royces? 150 cars means more to us and to the economy than two Bentleys or two Rolls Royces. So having the money in our hands is much more important than having it in theirs. So I want you to know I stand firmly with you. Let me know what we can do in the State Senate, and I'll support it. Thank you.